has a, with a Fulbright scholar, and he has a number of professional awards and recognitions, and is a member of several professional societies and the scientific uh, advisory boards. So please, I give you the floor. And, uh, I am pretty loud. I don't know whether I need, probably not. The microphone. <laughs> it's over there. But okay. Uh, so the, 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 the lecture is being recorded. So oh. we have a microphone. We have a voice. If we don't. I will we'll only see I, you. It's I, already a lot. Yeah, Michel, <laughs> I, I forgot to say he told me don't do card deals before the presentation. It's better if something happens to do it after the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if it's mandatory, then we'll do it. Okay. Hello to everyone and uh, it is my pleasure to come here uh, since we are celebrating uh, a very important uh, anniversary, 200 years uh, from Sadi Karnot's publication. And my whole life was dedicated really, I'm passionate uh, and, and obsessed with thermodynamics and the laws of thermodynamics, the fundamentals and challenges of the laws, and I will be talking about it, uh, Entropy Journal dedicated a special issue uh, in, in honor of my 70th birthday and I wrote some paper which is very comprehensive and I will be mostly presenting things and also what I wrote recently about Sadi Carnot's reflections, how I see it. It's not how and why what historian and philosophers say, but it is of what it is from the point of engineering and physics. And Sadi Kanov was actually an engineer. This is a very general type. I will be presenting similar things at the uh, University of Lorraine at Nancy. And this is more specific type. So we are talking here about heat. And heat is outcome of thermal motion. And uh, then it is Everywhere it's unavoidable because all natural structures uh, have a tendency to, to be unstable and then they uh, basically chaotically randomly moves and that's actually thermal motion and it gives rise to all other thermal phenomena including heat and entropy and temperature and, and everything else, specific heat and so on. Uh, I like to thank you for your presence and hopefully attention. And I don't mind being interrupted. Maybe Michelle does, but uh, basically if you have some urgent question, you could interrupt me. I, I actually uh, like it. That's what I usually do when I'm uh, listening to other people. And I'm coming from Northern Illinois University. It's about 100 kilometers west from Chicago. Very nice, small place to be and experience education and what in the United States. As Michelle said, I was associated with Entropy Journal and I was 